technically we don't have all male guineas. There's at least one guinea hen in here because it, look how many eggs we have. How many eggs, guys? So one, 18, three, 18, 18. Be careful, don't throw them in like that. You place them in there. Ooh, tiny egg. Mm -hmm. I can't get an egg because you guys are like. That's okay. You can carry the basket then. Mm. Here, let, me, let me get out first. Just make sure, check the coop if, if there's any more. Okay. Hold on. Oh! Hold on. I gotta check over here. That, oh, he came out. He snuck out. <laughs> We already got what? the eggs. What? We already got the eggs. Huh? That one snuck out. Hey guys, can you let me in? Uh, now you're gonna go let my man. He's saying, you look big and I'm like, wow. Tiberius doesn't like the guineas. I don't know why he does that. Okay, so we're gonna try and attempt to uh, incubate guinea eggs. Um, we were fortunate to, to, for our second batch to have, I think, one or two hens and they've been laying an egg a day. So we're up to 18 eggs, and we're thinking, okay, well, you know what? It's probably best to try to incubate, see if they, see if it works, see if it results. So my wife got this incubator, had to read the instructions, make sure I understood everything, and then try to do some studying on the, the guinea hens themselves, because there's, they don't really tend to guineas in the manual. It's more like chickens, ducks, pheasant, turkey, all that, right? Except for guineas. So, Comes with the tray. We add a little bit of water here. It's about 50 milliliters for the first week, right? So it's one to seven days or so. Next layer is, is for the tray to sit on. Layer after that is where we're positioning our eggs. So we're placing them right here in the middle here. And it's actually a pretty cool uh, little incubator. It has this little rotating disc that shifts the tray left to right, which makes the egg roll. So you're basically uh, making sure that it's getting heat all around, not just one side. You know, you don't want like a guinea coming out like you know, half formed and stuff, right? So, uh, yeah, so we're gonna attempt to uh, incubate and, and hatch our own guinea eggs. Hopefully it works. So um, do you know if these eggs are actually uh, fertile? Don't know yet. We're gonna know, uh, I think, on day seven. On this little device here, there's a little LED light that when you press it, the light comes on and you can place your egg on top to see whether or not the egg is fertilized. Mm. So the ones that are not fertilized, you remove from the incubator. The ones that are fertilized, you keep them in there until they can hatch. And again, trial and error, right? So the whole idea is, if we can do this, hopefully our guineas can free range Got that one? Thank you, bud. And uh, we can just let them loose on the property. Um, you know, seeing that they've hatched on the property and they're used to this property, so it'd be it'd be cool to have like a whole gang of guineas just hit the whole field, get rid of all the ticks, mosquitoes, anything that uh, that they can feed on that are bugs. Um, or we can sell them. That's true. Or we can sell the eggs. Mm -hmm. okay. So let's take a look at the egg. What does it look like? So it's a lot smaller than like a chicken egg, mm -hmm. you can see it. But immediately when you pick it up, you can feel that the shell is a lot thicker. It feels heavier, more dense. It's a very interesting egg. Okay, so just discovered that a couple of them have cracks, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we probably won't be able to incubate those at all. That's what I'm saying, you have to be very careful when you have them. So the ones that have a crack, Melissa wants to Attempt to crack it open, see what's oh. in there. It's a very dense, very hard shell, right? Oh, that is yolk. It is yolk. Yeah, probably it's an egg. all yolk. It's an egg. 
Can I cut? Oh, it's hard. Yeah. Oh, more scrambled eggs for me. Another yolk. Let's do that. Uh. So cook it and uh, I don't know. Whoever taste wants it. to taste it. I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna taste it first. Nah. Really? Really? Yeah. Here, go cook it. Nah. Let me see this one. Does this? Yeah, my chef here. Why you Chef Kike. He's wait, been doing can't breakfast can't lately, wait, wait, so. Wait, 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 wait. We're checking if this one has a crack. Oh, okay. I don't know. I can't tell. Crack. Okay, so we're gonna, he's going to do it in the next video. Cooking. So as you can see, we can only fit 15 guinea eggs in the uh, incubator. So right now we put on this contraption. And I don't know if you can see here is a wheel on this side here. So what this does is it spins every two hours. And every two hours when it spins, it just moves the whole tray. If you can see down here, side to side, so you can see the eggs kind of rotate to make sure that they're evenly incubated. Mm -hmm. So that's the motion. And uh, every, every two days or every day, I have to check just to make sure that the, the water tray is still, there's still water in there. So for the first seven days, it's only the middle tray. Then after eight to 15 days, it's the middle three trays full of water is what I'm saying. And then the last incubation times, 15 to 21 days, is all trays of water in there with, uh, with the, uh, providing the humidity, the right humidity. So the cover goes on, making sure that this pin fits right here in this slot. So I have to make sure that that does work. There we go. Okay, so there. Is there it's another? It's a little tricky, there we go. Mr. Poppy, Mr. Poppy. And so for a guinea egg, the temperature is about 38.3 degrees for the first week, and then we adjust accordingly. So press and hold the LED light, three seconds, and you'll see it shift just to make sure that they are rotating and, and rolling proper. Taste test, guinea egg. Kike cooked this. Joaquin. He cooks eggs really well. Me too. Yeah. These are real good. Huh? Yeah? Okay. Let me try. You want, you want to try? Let me try. And then mommy and then puppy. Mm -hmm. Okay, puppy next. egg it's egg so to test the the eggs to see if they're there hopefully the guinea eggs because the shell is so thick we can see it right mm -hmm. um so we press this button here which is the light mm -hmm. then we take one egg oh no twist it upside down it has to go away. i don't know if you can see it or not does it look clear to you? I don't know. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Kind of looks cool. I can't tell. I mean, it has to be dark. Yeah. Can I do this one? So then we can try again tomorrow. Probably close the... Like, so, right can there. you see anything? No? It's, it's mm. kind of thick, right? Mm -hmm. it's so it's hard to tell. So that one's hard to tell. Let's see if... We, Oh, that was better. Mm -hmm. So again, hard to tell. Yeah, because it's like the red and yellow. Well, that's right. Can I do that? Yeah, go ahead. Be gentle. Just place it. You don't have to do anything else. Just place it there. No, the other way. Whoa. Oh, that one. You can see that, it's clear. Yeah, yeah. That's yellow. That's yellow. Whoa. So tomorrow, mm -hmm. we'll check it again. Mm -hmm. So we're going to mark this. I'm going to put a nice Y. Why? Because it's like a bright yellow. So what we're gonna does that check mean? it. We're gonna check it again tomorrow. So what? When it's a bright yellow, it usually means that there's no the egg has not been fertilized. So why'd you put a Y? For yellow. yellow. Oh, I thought yellow. you meant Y for yes, fertilized. No, see. Okay. Put that one down. Another yellow. It's kind of orange. Yeah. That one maybe. 
It's half. See? So, put it so I think I'm it's still too it. early. That's what I think, too. Mm -hmm. I think maybe we Fair should enough. start doing... Mm -hmm. Maybe tomorrow or Saturday. If mm -hmm. we'll give it like another two days. Ooh, see, that see. was dark. Yeah, that's yeah, dark. dark. I think right maybe in a middle. baby in there. Oh, so cute. <laughs> and then we Can cook the baby. No. Yeah, we gotta oh, cook no. the baby. I want to do the next one. Ooh, that one's dark. That one's dark. dark. Mm -hmm. So that one's thin. No, it may be okay. a baby in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, she had this guy. Yeah, she had this guy. That's half. Yeah, or it's too thick, too. Yeah. But isn't, this, isn't this a cool machine, though? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It allows you to, to see that. I predict that one is going to be orange with a baby in there. They can't feel him. Ooh. Ooh. That one's orange. Orange. Okay, so this one's next. Okay. okay, so today we have an update on the guinea hens and trying to hatch the guinea hens here in the incubator. Uh, it's been one week, so we're going to check them now. Um, we checked it at day five, but it was a little bit difficult to, to kind of see or distinguish. So we wanted to wait a couple more days to see whether or not which ones are actually fertilized and which ones are not. And the ones that are not, we're going to separate, put them in this bowl here, and uh, take it out of the incubator. So we're going to check, and, and we got my assistants here. Excuse me, assistants? Yep. I am so, I'm an so we hit the light. Take one there. Put it right on top. See that? that looks yellow to me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that one doesn't look like it doesn't look like it's uh there's anything in there. And I put I put a Y there yellow. <laughs> Which means that basically it's not fertilized. This goes here. There you go. Hot egg. That one, is that one is dark. So I think that that one there, because it's so dark, I believe it's fertilized. And that's the one that we're keeping back here. So anything that's, you can tell the difference. I'll bring the other one back. So you can see the, t the color is very orangey compared to this, which is bright yellow almost, mm -hmm. right? So this one will be leaving inside the incubator to fertilize. And Tanya, would you like to do the next one? There you go. Place it right there on the identifier there. Oh, ooh, what do you guys think? This one's kind of dark, right? So this one can go in the bowl or in the incubator? Incubator. When it's dark, remember? Okay, so I'll do this one here. It's tiny. Oh, Ooh. that one's easy. Um. That one's easy. See? So, this one is yellow. So this goes right out of the incubator. I'm going to get some eggs. That one's... That one is also yellow. So, we can take it out. Mm, yep, Ooh, it is. This one is dark. Mm -hmm. So this dark one here, back into the incubator. Okay, let's try this one, Natanya. This one here. So this is a this is the beautiful process of us learning how to hatch our own eggs. Yep. So this one looks like it's kind of yellow. It's not as dark as the other ones, right? Mm -hmm. So. If it's yellow, where does it go? Bowl. In the bowl. Okay, I'll do this one here. Ooh, that one's yellow too. Oh, well, cool. in the bowl. I think it's fried rice to me. <laughs> Egg fried rice. What do you think of this one? That's the one. Yeah, I think we should put it in the incubator. Incubator? Yeah. Okay, I think it's the other way, but 
just for you guys. We'll put it here aside in the incubator to see whether or not you were right or not. Okay? This one is going to be wrong. Ooh, that one's... <laughs> that one's nice and dark. Mm -hmm. So we'll put this one here. So, Natanya, here you go, love. Put that in there. Oh, it's dark. Oh, look. That's okay, because the shell is really thick, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So what do you think here? That's good. It's good for what, though? Incubate. Yeah, incubate. Okay. I'll try this one here. Mm -hmm. That one's kind of orangey, right? Mm -hmm. So you guys get the last three. Ooh, that oh, that was dark. <laughs> Wait, yeah. those two were dark before. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So we put that one back. This one mm -hmm. That's the one that we said that um, um, you guys want to test, right? That's why I put it alone there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That one's dark. That one's dark. So we put this one back here. And that he gets the last egg. Wow. Ooh, that's that's like a yellow. Hey. So as we can see right now, out of the out of the what is it, fifteen eggs that we had, fifteen guinea eggs, we have taken six out, uh, which are kind of like a, a yellowish tinge to it, and the ones that are darker orange. Um, means that they are fertilized. So we have nine guinea eggs that hopefully will, um, hatch. will hatch. We'll see that within the next two to three weeks. And right now we, we have to increase the, the amount of humidity. So we have to fill three trays of water in here. Uh, and then every two days for the next week, um, we have to make sure that those three trays have enough water that it produces enough humidity so that they can, you know, um, adjust to the temperature and, and Help them hatch. So we'll see you again in the next week.